Thank you for doing everything you do, David. Out of curiosity, have you taken a political compass test? I've done it so many times, but I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm going to take a test right now. And from what I'm being told, doctors, depending on how I do, will be shocked by what I uh, what I do with this test. OK, you know, people often write to me and they say, sir, you were not. They actually they say the following. Congratulations, sir. You just won the election. And I say I was I didn't even know I was in the running. So I really appreciate that. No, but people say, David, where are you on the populism scale? Because I have said before, I am not one of these uh, populists left or right, as has become popular now. But what I do have here is the Guardian's How Populist Are You quiz. If you want to take this along with me, you can, uh, I guess, search on Google Guardian. How populist are you? And my prediction is this is the scale of populism. So you've got at the top the populist left and right. And at the bottom, the non populist left and non populist right. I actually don't think this is really like I, I would sort of scale this a little bit differently. My guess is that I would be to the left of Obama and Macron. So like if you draw a vertical line here, I'm guessing I'm going to end up to the left of Obama and Macron, but lower on the populism scale than uh, than these people. That's my guess. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to um, take this test right now. OK, United States. Age. Oh, my God. These are hard questions. Gender. All right, let's continue. Politicians should always listen closely to the problems of the people. So always for me is complex. I don't I wouldn't say always, but generally speaking, politicians should reflect the problems of the people. So I'm between agree and tend to agree. Um, I guess I would say I agree with that. Politicians don't have to spend time among ordinary people to do a good job. So I don't think it's mandatory that politicians spend time among ordinary people to do a good job. I don't think it's necessary. I also don't think it's sufficient, but I think it's a good thing. So I'm going to say I tend to agree. The government is pretty much run by a few big interests looking out for themselves. You know, it depends on whether you mean at the federal level, at the state level or at the local level. I'm going to assume it means overall. It doesn't say federal government. And this is also the Guardian. So I'm, I'm going to interpret this as just generally. So I'm going to say I tend to agree. Government officials use their power to try to improve people's lives. Again, it depends on what government you're talking about, federal, state, local. Um, I I tend to agree that most people who get into elected office do it to try to improve people's lives. I think many of them fail. So I'm going to go with tend to agree. You can tell if a person is good or bad if you know their politics. I think that to a degree that's true. If someone tells you my politics are white nationalism, a neo-Nazi, uh, whatever, um, I am unlikely to eventually find out if I spend more time with that person that that's what I would consider a good person. Now, the concept of good and bad people is flawed to a degree. So I don't think I don't think strongly agree makes sense. I don't think agree, I would say I tend to agree with this. The people I disagree with politically are not evil. Some again, concept of good and evil, sort of a black and white term. I don't I don't know if I tend to see the world in this way, but accepting the question is asked. Um, most of the people I disagree with politically are not evil. I've met some that are. So I'm going to say tend to agree. The power of a few. Spe These questions are kind of vague. The power of a few special interests prevents our country from making progress. I am not as on board with that as many populists are. I tend to agree, but I don't agree or strongly agree. A lot of important information is deliberately concealed from the public out of self interest. Uh, man, these are really vague. Whose self interest? I would say, you know, I don't, uh, I don't know that I know that for sure. I guess I'll go with tend to agree. Patriotism. Oof. So patriotism as defined by the right, I very much disapprove of. 
there is a version of patriotism that's OK. Um, the problem is it's been perverted, so it's really all an interpretation. I'm going to say neither approve nor disapprove. Nationalism I disapprove of. Free market. So with the free market, I'm fine with the free market allocating resources in most areas, but not all health care, education to a degree, housing. Um, so I I tend to approve of the free market when it's actually a free market but not in all cases. So I'll, I'll guess I'll go with 10 to approve. Free trade, it, it's similar again. It's like when first of all, is it actually free trade? Oftentimes people say free trade, they mean something else um, and not in all cases. So I tend to approve, but I'm not like a big free trade guy. Renewable energy, strongly approve. Pollution control, strongly approve. Conservatism, strongly disapprove. Church authority strongly disapprove left wing people. OK, I'm on the left. I think there are some perversions of the left authoritarianism as a problem on the left. Um, some of this kind of like extreme intersectionality that often ends up being anti-Semitic or counterproductive. So I would say I'm be I tend I approve of left wing people. Uh, is it tend to I tend to approve of left wing people. Yeah. Socialism. OK, I am not a socialist. I don't believe socialism is evil. I don't uh, you know, I just I just am not a socialist. So I guess I would say I disapprove, but not strongly. Gay marriage strongly approve and adoption by homosexuals strongly approve. All right, let's see where I am. Where is David Pakman? Wow, exactly what I predicted. So my thought was when I looked at this that I would be to the left of Barack Obama, but less populist than people like Bernie and AMLO. Exactly right. So I think that this is useful in the following sense. Oftentimes people don't know their own politics. I've met so many people who say I'm a Republican. I just I'm just a Republican. I say, really, what's your view on taxes? What's your view on this? What's your view on that? And they have no policies aligned with Republicans. And then they say, I guess I'm not a Republican. I am reassured. I've reassured myself, right, that my thought was when I looked at this, I'm going to be to the left of Obama, but also lower on the populism scale. Um, so the, the the axes here are higher is more populist and left is more left. And that's exactly where I came in. I, I figured I would be to the left and lower. OK, that's where I was. So if you want to find this, this is the Guardian's How Populist Are You quiz. OK, so we've got that.